Mrs. Chairman, sir, your very appropriate wife, uh, my brother, Scully Aminti, being gathered as a very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, so let me stay on the existing protocol and as we say in Nigeria. Uh, one thing I would like to say about the Mulu also is that she is a perfectionist. You can see here she is a director, she is a conductor, she is a musicologist, she is a lawyer, she is a pastor, and now she is directing some virtues. <laughs>
if not longer. I will not remember how we met, but I, at, at the time, there was no social media, no Instagram, no Twitter, no Facebook. She found me out. And she came and she said she needed mentoring. And she opened up about her dreams in life to me. She wanted to be an author. She wanted to be very famous. And you won't believe it, as a teenager, she was already famous. This young lady was able to invite the then wife of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Mrs. Titi Atiku Abubaka, to launch a book. You can imagine. That's how determined uh, she's been. So I'm not surprised about what she's doing today. Uh, one thing I would like to say about the Mulu also is that she is a perfectionist. You can see here she is a director, she's a conductor, she's a musicologist, she's a lawyer, she's a pastor, and now she's directing some virtues. So I would really love to learn more about that because I'm very curious that at this time and age, when there is so much freedom in the world, when ladies are free to do anything, all they need to do is go on the internet and you will be exposed to all kinds of frivolities. She has remained very steadfast to her principle of life. How every time I used to tease her in those days, where is your boyfriend? You are getting old. Where is your boyfriend? And she would say, oh, Uncle D, don't worry. My boyfriend is Jesus Christ, and I'm happy that she has remained with Jesus Christ. And may Jesus Christ not let you down. May you continue to prosper. I am very, very impressed about the woman that you have become, and I know that the sky is not even the limit for you. The sky is not the limit for you. She's faced a lot. You know, in our society, people pontificate a lot. People judge you based on their own misconceptions and misperceptions. But she has refused to be bowed, to be cowed. And that is why I said today I must come here. I must thank the choirs. I love Christian music. And looking at this young performance, I must say that it's a shame that Nigeria is blessed with this bundle of talents and we're being governed by these incompetent people. This is competence here. I'm sure a lot of them have never gone outside this country, yet they play all these important instruments. And I must say that I'm looking forward to an opportunity one of these days when I have my own show that we can invite you to perform for us. So to all the young ladies uh, who have come here, congratulations. Please uh, remain steadfast, be focused, and try to find mentors. I can tell you that one of the things that has helped Emilogu is her ability to seek out mentors and maintain relationships. I may not see her for years, but she knows that I am always there for her and God will always be there for her. Uh, our fathers, our mothers, our sisters, our brothers, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I would have to leave because I have some live program at 8 o'clock and I have to drive back uh, to the island. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes. I think um, we want to dance a bit. So, I call on CCC Choir Ikeja Ward Cathedral. Over to you, please. If we're happy to be here, please let's be on our feet. Oh, but told me, show. Technical commission. Oh, 
the CEO RTC Advisory Services Limited for his speech for celebration. So let's put our hands together for him. event. I'll make a slight correction before I talk. So I've been working since August 2019 
as CEO of Oko State Security Trust Fund. So I'm not supposed to be CEO of my private company anymore. Uh, so I just do that for the records. Um, of course, Tebilo I did not know that. Um, just like uh, Dele Momoju said, I, I think I've known her for a long time. If I was having a debate with my wife, because I wasn't sure where I met her, I wasn't sure how I met her, but I knew that I knew her story very much. I was very familiar with her ministry, uh, and I knew that she has kept this strong and amazing focus on, on uh, this issue of chastity. And um, I also knew that I was highly impressed with her when I met her. Those were the things I remember. And then she recently reminded me that I met her about 18 years ago, and I know that it was in the course of um, her focus on chastity. I want to commend her. I want to thank God for her, for sustaining her. And um, I thank God that her, her vision has grown um, and continues to grow. I've enjoyed myself very much, and I can, I'm sure I speak for my wife as well. We've enjoyed ourselves very much. Um, her mission, Timilulua's mission, is, I think, essentially, I think Daniel Momo just said the same thing, which I was going to say. It's very unusual in these times. It's very bold. It's very courageous. Um, the world is certainly not going in the direction in which she's asking this teenagers and young women to go. Uh, but I think the world is not going in the direction that any Christian should go anyway. Um, and if you had doubts about the direction in which the world is going, it keeps getting more and more ridiculous every day. You know, so it was gay. Then it become LGBT. Then it became Q. Then they added RS, and it just begins to evolve. So it gets more and more ridiculous. Now children are supposed to declare their sex. So a four-year-old child can walk up to his mother and say, I'm now a girl, a boy. And a six-year-old girl can walk up to her father and say, I'm now a boy. And you're supposed to accept whatever they say. And mental illness is being elevated into, you know, things that are mental illness. You know, when somebody who is a boy thinks, conventionally, when we were in secondary school, that would have been described as a delusion or some kind of phobia or some kind of neurosis. But now it's become the norm. So the world is certainly not going in a direction that makes sense. And so, if the Milo Okewo and the Bible tells us to go in another direction, um, it's becoming clearer and clearer that it is perhaps that direction that she should be going, or that we all should be going. I, I, you know, I feel like saying something about that call, my message, very briefly. Um, my wife and I can relate to our mission. I won't say more than that. But I met my wife in the University of Ife. And we dated for seven years. And uh, we got married uh, after seven years, in 1991. And so this November will be 30 years in marriage. And I, I tell you that my wife believes in her mission. That's all I will say. <laughs> and, and so I had to wait for seven years. That's... That's... <laughs> the other thing that I will say is that men... 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 You can't rely on a man to keep a woman chaste. You can never rely on a man 
to keep a woman chaste. If a man wants to be chaste himself, he will be chaste. And I'm speaking to those young men. And if they will but in a relationship, you, you can't, the woman will not rely on that. So it is your responsibility, young girls, to keep yourself chaste. I think that um, the final thing I'm led to do here is to make some token gifts um, to all those who have made this such a wonderful evening. I've already done one uh, to Ida Mala Lukoya, so if I don't call her name, I think she should have received some token gifts from, her, from me. Um, I also discovered as I made the, you know if you want to know somebody's real name, it's from their bank details. So I discovered that her name is Okwayemi Ivo. So that made me doubly happy. Thank you very much. And um, so, but I just thought that we should also, not because we think that money can buy what you have all provided this evening, but just so that we can show our appreciation. So I think there's the Luli B Brass Band. And all of these donations will be received through Mr. Miloru. Okay, there's Luli B Brass Band, which will I just need. Thank you, boys. You are wonderful. You get 25,000 naira. And there's uh, the CCC, Keja One Cathedral Choir. Um, you get 35,000 naira. And um, I believe that, I think that's all. And then the seven virgins. Even though I think I counted eight. <laughs> Nine. Okay. So they will get 90,000 naira. And then, just for future programs, I will send a, a personal gift to Temilolu. Okay. Thank you very much, and we have really enjoyed ourselves. And may the Lord sustain you and increase you. And He will not disgrace you or shame you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Celebrate so let's put our hands together for Mr. Okoyemi Akpaje. Let's put our hands together for him once again. Sir, we well, thank you so very much and we appreciate you. The Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name. You know, this program, it's all about celebrating chastity. It's all about celebrating, celebrating chastity. God celebrates. But let's remember what the Bible says, that we should not conform to the word, but we should be renewed in our minds. Others may be saying, it's not, it's an old-fashioned thing, it's something that's not celebrated, but we will never neglect the landmark. The Bible preaches it, the Bible, the scriptures over and over again emphasize this. And also in our African tradition, Virginity is celebrated. I want to encourage every boy, every girl in the house today. You can do it. People have been doing it. We had a testimony of our chairman today. You know, coincidentally, we had a program at Queen's College about two years ago, and we have one of our fathers in the house as well. That was the same testimony he gave about his wife. At the point we were both confused, so we realized that it's another person. Same testimony. I can tell you in the house today, we have people that are like 39, 40, that are here married in this congregation, and they are still virgins. They are still virgins. Let's celebrate the virgins in the house. Let's celebrate them. This program is all about celebrating chastity. Be proud of yourself. Let people know what you stand for. I want to tell you, either you know it or not, you are encouraging somebody that is about giving up. And I pray for you all in the house today, grace to stay chaste till your wedding night. The Lord release upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Grace to stay chaste till your wedding night. The Lord release upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. In the next five minutes, we'll be stepping out of here. But before we go, 
Mr. Lily Okero, how I had girl. Apostolic, apostolic, let me, let me call it very well. The founder and the head girl of the Girls Apostolic Ministry of All Nations. The Girls Club of Nigeria and the Girls Club of Africa. So make a bold welcome for Miss Temilolu Okawo. She just have a word to say to everybody and we'll be stepping out of here now. Just a word. One minute. My very distinguished guest, I'm delighted to be here with you once again, but honestly, I'm really tired. I have prepared for this. And you see, if I, if I, if I decide to talk, we won't leave the space today because there's a lot I want to say. And I know these girls, they want to record. And the next thing I'll see now is I'll find myself on social media talking about this and that, like I did a few weeks back. You know, but I'll tell you one thing.